I finally feel like a human again. <laughs> I just had a little me time and just relaxed, had a nice slow morning. Actually my emotional state has been all over the place for the last few weeks. It's just been like a roller coaster, just up and down and some days I feel like I can do anything and that I'm unstoppable and that nothing can get in my in my way but other days I just feel so anxious and down and you know it's just like a fluctuation between the two and it's so frustrating sometimes to stay positive you know I've just been so overworked lately I'm sick of working honestly uh, today is like my one day off this week so <laughs> I'm trying to make the best out of it and yeah <sighs> slowly getting to a better mental state but just my anxiety was just all over the place it's hard to manage like everyday life when you're anxious all the time I did manage to squeeze a couple of hikes in my days off. I went on this little hike uh, to a waterfall and it was so beautiful 
and it actually reminded me a lot of the waterfalls that I saw in Iceland. It's a waterfall that I've never been to before. Um, it's not like far away but I just, I don't know, I, I've never been there and um, seeing it for the first time in summertime, it was just so beautiful. After I got back from the hike, I went and stopped at the garden store because I wanted to start working on the garden, although it was already so late, but I still had some time. I've just been on a hike with my friend and I've just popped into the store to pick up some things for the garden. I'm starting it quite late this year, but whatever. I traveled to Iceland so I couldn't start it in May and you know, there's still time to grow things. I ordered a few things that I'm gonna need for the raised beds and I ordered a small greenhouse. Uh, which is gonna arrive sometime next week. So I'm excited to start working on that. I'm heading home right now. It's super hot and my AC doesn't want to start. So yeah, I'm gonna sweat my way home <laughs> right now, but that's okay. Uh, the hike was super nice. It was um, really nice to get back to hiking again. I've missed it a lot. So when I ordered the greenhouse and it finally arrived, we quickly saw that the quality just, it just wasn't, you know, it, it was just complete garbage basically. As soon as I unpacked it, I was like, nope, this, this isn't gonna work. I got a bit scammed on the side because it's, I spent like a lot of money on that, um, on that greenhouse and it was just it was just not good you know and we barely assembled the thing it was really annoying <laughs> Thank you. 
But then, all of a sudden, one night, like a week after we set up the greenhouse, there was this insane storm in the middle of the night that woke us up and the wind was so strong. I stood up and looked outside the window and just this the strongest gust of wind just demolished the greenhouse. There was just, I started working on it, I started like uh, putting down mulch and you know preparing things to start the garden and then just like one, this one gust of wind just destroyed everything and yeah I guess the garden just isn't happening this year, it just didn't happen so that made me a little bit sad but you know sometimes things happen that you can't foresee and you know, you can't do anything about it, you can just deal. The garden is something I'll focus on next year. So, uh, the storms actually wreaked havoc in our country. A lot of trees have fallen, a lot of forests were damaged and the Forest Service had so much work because of that. And after the storms it just didn't stop raining and the whole country basically is flooded at the moment and we are just so lucky that we're on a cliffside and the canyon where the river flows is quite deep so there's no chance of water overflowing but the villages that are nearby like 20 minutes away are completely flooded people's homes are destroyed people's businesses people's cars bridges are destroyed roads are cut up, are destroyed some people are completely cut off from the world insane the weather this summer is just so unusual and the floods like this never happened here and there was even a tornado that formed which is completely mind-blowing I feel for the people because I I just I can imagine how much money it will cost to repair everything and many people don't even have the budgets to repair the damage you know so that's gonna be that's gonna be really hard. These hikes actually have been just a highlight of my the past few months actually. I'm I'm really happy that I live in a place where I can just go and explore all these mountains and one other hike that we've been on was uh, a hike that we did sometime in the beginning of spring also and it just looked so different from last time because last time nothing was growing and the grass was still yellow and the mountain lodge was closed so we just had a little sit down but this time it was such a different experience because everything was so lush and green and beautiful and the lodge was open and there was these animals like donkeys and horses and cows and you name it you know i was like in heaven <laughs> we went to try out some local food which i'm not sure what to call it in english but in slovenian it's called štrukli 
and uh, there's different flavors we got like uh, three different flavors and we weren't even able to eat them all but they were absolutely delicious super early today to have like a chill morning made myself some tea and some breakfast and I'm gonna chill for a little while before I have to go to work because I have like an almost 10 hour shift today and this week is gonna be super hard um yesterday I thought I was gonna rest for a little while because I had a day off but I got some bad news so to say and I don't know it was just hard to deal with everything and and yeah Everything's so overgrown and so many trees have fallen, even on paths, so I guess no one has been here in a good while. You can tell because there's so much grass that has grown that hasn't been here in previous years and yeah. This forest hasn't been the luckiest in the past few years. The forest here was so thick before, you couldn't even see the mountains, but now it's just like this meadow. It's beautiful, but I'm still sad about the, the forest. I thought I was gonna find a spot here where I could sit, um, but yeah, honestly, everything's so overgrown that I don't think I'll be able to.
I just ate a huge bowl of quinoa salad and I'm so full, but it was really delicious. Um, I actually recently celebrated my 30th birthday and my partner and I went into the mountains and had a little picnic, which was so pleasant and it was so nice to get away from all the noises of the city and just spend some time in nature together. Turning 30 and looking back at the decade of my 20s, how everything I experienced shaped me as a person has left me to wonder what's to come and what this new chapter of life has in store for me. My dad said to me that a person really comes to understand who they are in essence as they reach their 30s. And I'm actually looking forward to finding that out. I used to be afraid of getting older and maybe I still am to some extent. But I think life isn't about what you achieve in this time, but about how much you've lived and experienced. Fully living means being unburdened by material things. And I believe the less you own, the freer you become. Detaching yourself from the social gain and growing from within seems like a promising path. I just want to be a simple person and a humble one and just enjoy my time here on earth. Looking back on these hikes with my friend Tina has left me feeling an enormous amount of gratitude. I truly feel like myself in the mountains without the heavy burdens of everyday life in the city. It's my happy place, where I feel connected and content.